Alright, so I don't know how many months already since Sonoma has been out but I'm still on Ventura. I actually used macOS Sonoma before this and it was still on beta. It wasn't even released yet. I tried that and it was sort of horrible on this MacBook but at this point I imagine it should be better by now. I think it's time to upgrade the macOS on my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Alright, so I go to system settings, general and about. You can see right here, my MacBook still running 13.6.7. This is the latest macOS Ventura as the time I'm filming this video. It just came out like a couple of days ago and you know what, might as well just update this thing. I don't know why I did the update twice though but I'm just doing it anyway. So what I need to do is go to software update and the update should pop up right here. macOS Sonoma 14.5. Yep, I'm late to the party and yep, there's tons of stuff right here which you can read. So I'm just gonna hit upgrade now. It shouldn't take that long though because it's only 5.1 gigabyte and you know what agree there you go I'm downloading this time for real Alright, it's finally done. Upgrade now. Also, my MacBook, the fan is start kicking in. I guess, upgrade now. It's doing its thing, pretty much. And, there we go. So, go back to the bar on the top. Now, it's on the bottom, if I remember correctly from the previous video. So it's finally done and you can notice that the lock screen looks completely different. On the top you can notice there's the clock while on the bottom there's your profile as Apple moved from the middle to the bottom. So it shows up this, um, is my mouse connected? Yep, there we go. Um, I don't want to share. And it seems that I'm in. Oh yeah, Discord just opened by itself. And by the way, while I'm on my Discord server, if you guys haven't joined my Discord server, feel free to join. Um, link will be in the description below. Let's go to General and about. There you go, I'm on macOS Sonoma 14.5. I don't know what else the other thing that's fake. Obviously the wallpaper. You can get tons of wallpaper now, which is a cool thing. Um, I'm gonna use my trackpad instead. So these are the old wallpaper, the one that we know. And here's the one that has the animation. When you unlock it and then you can see it's doing its animation right there. But when we unlock it, it's it slow down and then it stops by in a smooth way. So yeah, there's like, there's so many animation. I guess that's cool. Um, we got the Los Angeles overpass, airport, there's underwater, cool, cool, and there's Earth, East Asia, um, and then there's more stuff, the, what, shuffles area? I don't know why I did not zoom in, but there you go, um, it should be way better now. And that's all for wallpaper, um, let's see, my battery health, um, it should be fine. Yeah, there you go. Also, about wallpaper, you can have it as your screensaver too. Um, I will set it the what the Los Angeles Hills because why not? I'm familiar with that place because of GTA, obviously. And it seems that it's taking some time to download. I guess that's normal because the file is big. There we go. So this is the LA Hills. You can see the 
Hollywood sign or in GTA the wine wood. So if I lock it, it's moving. But oh but very slowly though. And yeah, it unlocks us. I have my Apple Watch. Let's try Los Angeles tonight. And oh, click more paper to show desktop items. It's like those old windows when you press the bottom corner. And there we go, it's done downloading. So I will turn off Wi Fi so that it won't connect to my watch. And you can see. You can see there's some cars moving around. That is awesome. I just set my MacBook to Los Angeles Sunset. And guess what? I know that place. It was in GTA. All right, so it's been like, what? I don't know how many days I filmed this back in May and now it's July. I've been using this MacBook. It's still on Sonoma, which you can see right here. So yeah, um, Sonoma works great on my MacBook. So it's pretty much the early beta doesn't work that well. Long story short, if you want to use beta on your main machine and it's the only machine that can do the latest version of macOS, um, I would highly recommend no. The public release version seems to be fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I haven't encountered anything. Oh yeah, as of filming this video, 14.6 um, is out. Everything works well for now. 14.5 works great for me. And you can see the temperature does not even go that high. Even though some people say it will melt the whole MacBook. I'm still editing this video. It's not even done yet. But yeah, um, everything seems to be fine. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and bye.